Hello YouTubers, this is my new pleasure uh, that I want to introduce to you today. I hope it's going to be fun, yeah? <laughs> And here it is. It was delivered in such a nice box. Yeah, it's made by Laffen. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Yeah, and it's Ultimate Starter Kit for Arduino Uno R3 prototyping board. It's the biggest I found on that site on AliExpress. So let's open it. And here it is. This chart I really like because you can see all the components and how they are called. Yeah, it's very useful. And inside the box is very well organized. I like it. I'm going to introduce to you all the components now. This CD is very useful thing because there is a user manual, yeah, which I use a lot. And also the examples that you can study. This is also a very useful thing for beginners, yeah. And using this uh, table you can very easily identify resistor values and this is the heart of the kit, yeah. So it's a Arduino Uno prototyping board, yeah. Uh, this one is clone of course, yeah. It's delivered with this uh, USB cable, it's a B type, yeah. One end is uh, A type, which you plug into your computer, and the other end is uh, type B, which you plug into your Arduino Uno board. But frankly, I don't like it much because it's too short, so fortunately, I've got a longer one at home. This board is a prototyping shield and it's also delivered with this small board you can put on it. Yeah, You can plug it like this. It's also very useful if you want to keep your projects compact. Yeah. This is an ACDC 9 volt adapter. Yeah and you plug it into your Arduino Uno board like this. Yeah. As you can see there is not only one yeah, way how to power the board. The output it's 9 volt, it's up to 1 amp, yeah. Which is good. And this is a breadboard. I guarantee that you will use it very often, yeah. It's uh, one of the most used thing, yeah, from the kit. This breadboard power supply is also very useful thing, but actually it's uh, just DC DC adapter. This is a power button you can use for switching off. Uh, using this jumper, you can change output voltage. Yeah, it's very clever feature yeah like this you can change from 5 volts to 3.3 volts yeah and now back to 5 volts the same is on the other side and you can power it using USB connector or jack connector from the adapter this is uh, another way how to power your Arduino board. You have to connect it with one end to 9 volts battery and the other end you have to plug into your Arduino board and take a look at it. It started blinking. The blinking program is pre-uploaded. In the box there is also this small one with various uh, components inside. There is a bunch of LED 
emitting diodes in different colors. There is a one RGB light emitting diode. The two 10 kilo ohms potentiometers. There are some electrolyte capacitors. This is tilt switch, yeah. It is either on or off, depends on how you tilt it. There are two ICs. The first one is for driving motors and the second one is a uh, shift register. These are rectifier diodes. These two are photo resistors. This one is thermistor. These are buzzers. One is uh, passive and the second one is active. There are some tactile switches or push buttons. Yeah. There are also some ceramic capacitors in the box. These are transistors. There are two types, NPN and PMP. In the box you can also find DuPont wires and there is a bunch of uh, jumper wires. Next components are various displays. This one is one digit seven segment display. This one is four digit seven segment display. And this one is dot matrix yeah, module. And this one is LCD module. Yeah. There are also several motors in the kit. Yeah, this one is DC motor. This one is stepper motor. And the last one is server motor. There is also a bunch of register in the box. This is a joystick module. Yeah, for playing games, for example. This is a uh, 5 volts relay, yeah, very useful thing. This is a rotary encoder. This is an infrared receiver. This module is for measuring temperature and humidity. You can measure distances using this ultrasonic sensor. If you want to detect sounds, you can use this sound sensor module. This module is for detecting motions. This module is driver for stepper motor. This module tells you exact time and date. This is membrane keypad. This remote control you can use with infrared module. This sensor you can use for measuring water levels. These components are used for radio frequency identification. And this module is a gyroscope and accelerometer. Yeah, all in one. And that's it. I've introduced to you so many components, yeah, all in one uh, kit for Arduino, yeah. I really like it and in my next videos I'm going to play with some of these components. I hope you enjoyed this introduction and see you next time.